then obviously you've got to be, your time has been disrupted with injuries that you know you're coming in you're fresh and after this season really focused as you said on the big campaign. Yeah, um, yeah, like you said that my last two years has been um, quite heavily uh, disrupted through injuries. So the focus this year obviously was to come have a have a, a lot a good long pre season, put the hard work in and um, fingers crossed not not to get injured. Yeah, and the key over this six weeks I suppose is, is you know you started well is to keep it going. Yeah I mean um, obviously I wanted to um, you know when I, I know when I'm fit that I, you know I can play well and, and it's just a question of uh, I've just been unlucky I think the last two years so it's just been hopefully this year now um, I've got the injury patch behind me and um, I'll be able to to you know show get back to my, my, my potential. With a lot of backs away at the World Cup, is that sort of extra responsibility on the forwards like you think before, especially in the opening Yeah, I mean, we've lost a lot of players, um, but like, like mostly, like I said, mostly backs, which is um, even more emphasis on ourselves to um, to step forward. We've got a lot of experienced players, a lot of um, very good, young, talented players in our pack, you know, and it's not just the eight that's starting, we've got some quality um, backup as well. So I think yeah, it's just you know we got we got a lot of potential in the back line, just inexperienced and young. So yeah, like you said, just I think even more emphasis for us to take the game by the scrap of the neck and just kind of lead lead the backs home. I know you also spoke last week you know, that he's almost challenged the forwards and showing a lot of soft touch this season. You know, rightly or wrongly, they've had a reputation in the past as a bit of soft with scallops up front. You know, he seems to really want to put that to bed. Yeah, season. I mean. You hear this coming by, and I get to hear this from time to time. But um, to be honest with you, over the last two years, I, that hasn't really been the case. I don't think. I think um, our set piece has been good the last two years. Um, we 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 were a young pack two years ago, um, especially you know in the back five. And uh, I think over the last two years, uh, you know, the, the second rows and back rows have grown up and uh, fronted up and I think um, hopefully now the season will, will you know be a real force to be reckoned with. Yeah I mean um, obviously it starts up front and I think yeston has been like um, yeston has been really pivotal in you know in where we are at the moment where he's just like kind of he's leading by example he just this uh, be like rejuvenated, and it's just it's it's encouraging for the pack, you know. It picks us all up, and um, yeah, we just just try to stay with the old man. <laughs> What's your experience of Paul? I mean, I've been playing been playing there our best part of eight years, and um, it, it is one of the worst places to play rugby, hands down. But I mean, we have just got to we just got to play them. Play them clever, you know. You don't want to play. Obviously, most nine times out of ten, it's going to be windy and rainy. So we just want to get down in their half and you know make them play the rugby and, and try to turn the screw with our pack. Because yeah. it very early is a pretty game, as you say. So. Like I said, literally, I, I think out of the you know nine, ten times I've played in Galway, it's been raining and like sideways wind. So yeah. it's just a case of taking the pack, you know, and getting in their half. Just turning the screw basically. Are those pre season games that when you obviously went to Cliff on, you played Exeter and Wales and the Tigers this weekend, have those benefited in terms of coming up against you know, powerful packs? Yeah, I think importantly this year, we um, for the first time we, we, we went away as a team. Yeah. Um, and I just think it was, it, was, it, was a, you know, it was a good thing for us because um, we got to spend a week together. Yeah. We. Um, and at the end of it was like extremely tough game, yeah. and, and and we um, we really did well as well. So I think that was a massive confidence boost. We came back there and realised that you know we have got we've got a, we've got a potential to play yeah. big teams and and handle um, packs like French packs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was a de definitely a confidence booster. And then obviously um, Exeter afterwards. So we, yeah, we had a hard run in the games. And I think that fared well, especially um, yeah. for their only pack. Did you enjoy that last week? In terms of obviously the conditions were like 
No, it was, it was a, a tough test. Um, obviously, all we'd planned for during yeah. the week um, quickly went out the window when the heavens opened. Yeah. But uh, I, th I, f I felt we adapted our game plan very well. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it wasn't a, a pretty game, um, but uh, the weather dictated that for us. And uh, yeah, as I say, we adapted well, and I, I believe we, uh, we, we, we thoroughly deserved the win in the end. Fresh start for you, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely for a fresh start. Um, another, another step closer to home. <laughs> um, no, I've been, I've been away from the, the region for quite a few years now, yeah. and it's, it's nice to be, it's nice to be back. Um, I, no, I'm really excited to answer about the, the opportunity I've, I've been given down here. And, uh, hopefully, I can, I can take the take my chance over the next uh, next few weeks. Excited about what? I am. Uh, yeah. Since since I, well, yeah. I, I, well, I was at Nelly and the and the 16s and great right. teams. I was like, I've never. Yeah. Never played the, the senior level at Little Natalie. Right. Although my mission as a, as, a, as a kid it never actually worked out that way. Um, but uh, it's, it's come on uh, a huge amount since I um, since I left uh, the region many years ago now. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's just testament to the, to the hard work that's been put in by the people behind the scenes here that uh, they now have uh, a top class facility in West Wales. Yeah. I was wondering from so the new three quarters here, is it difficult in the fact that there's a whole back division of Tom's Hill to New Zealand and the sort of almost come together as a, as a new group? It is, it's, a, it's a, like I could say, it's like the experimental back line, to be honest. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of young faces, a lot of inexperienced yeah. players, um, mixed in with a couple of, um, a couple of, of older heads who have yeah. only just arrived in the region, so we're still, yeah. uh, myself included, we're still, still finding our feet, to be honest, and getting used to the, to the new moves and new, new patterns. Of, yeah. And the, and the style of play they like to play down, down here at Lethley, but uh, I feel we're betting in well. Um, yeah. the, boys, the boys who have been here um, for quite a while have, have made, a, made it very easy for us to, to, uh, to settle in. Um, <coughs> and it <coughs> also helps a lot, I think, for a, for a young back line to have such an experienced and um, powerful pack in front of us. Um, and they, they put a, a superb performance in last weekend against Irony and uh, paved the way really for the, for the victory. Do you feel as a, as a group, especially in the back, so it's <coughs> such a big opportunity for you guys with so many people missing out because of the World Cup? Certainly. Um, a lot of, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Um, bringing in players through. Um, it's, it's credit to the development system here that they've the got the Scarlets and so many of the youngsters have gone away um, with, uh, with the national setup to the World Cup. But um, the, uh, yeah, the good thing about that then is that uh, younger guys and People like me, to be honest, who lost their way a little bit, uh, get to um, get to have a go and have a have a chance while they're away and try and stake the claim um, for when they for when they return. Then.